You've taken something and you've twisted it, and no, so did I only, the Post. Listen, and, and well, I like no, the, yeah, you what, have, the idea of, of, no, of what no, you, you were did. doing was to create no, you competition did. I mean, and make it more took, fair for younger no. doctors. I'm yeah, only yeah. asking about the part That's, that they raised issue yeah. with, which was well, the board. They said, look, it's a bunch of his yeah, yeah. family now, and here's friends, the thing, here's just a, yeah. on a conflict and of interest point. Right. And you've taken uh, an interview and you've made an interview into something where we got no useful information because you were argumentative and you started out with so many presuppositions that were incorrect. Well, an interesting uh, exchange yeah. between Senator Rand Paul and CNBC anchor Kelly Evans uh, uh, earlier this year. Back now in America's form. We never have those uh, exchanges, never. do we, Miranda? No, uh, no. That was a nice uh, adjective you used there. Interesting. <laughs> interesting. Yes. And, uh, well, in the State Department, they'd say candid and productive. At any Ooh, rate, we know, <laughs> we know Rand Paul's back in the spotlight but it is not necessarily because of his presidential ambitions. Yeah, instead he faces accusations that he's waging a war on women journalists. But is it true or is this just a controversy cooked up by his opponents? Yeah, I've got my suspicions. But for more on okay. this story, let's call on Gabriela Morongiello, Gabby's uh, campus correspondent at campusreform.org. She joins us from Newsmax, Washington. So, Gabby... You're a journalist, albeit there on campus. What are your thoughts on Rand Paul's uh, treatment of women journalists? I don't think that Rand Paul is waging a war on women whatsoever. I think that his behavior in certain interviews has uh, deservedly earned questions. Um, people should be questioning his temper, and it's something that he definitely needs to work on if he does want to have a legitimate uh, uh, you know, chance at getting the presidency. But at the same time, his behavior is not sexist, as some on the left have identified it as. I think that's ridiculous to uh, claim that he's waging a war on women simply because he's demonstrated some temper in certain interviews. So out of curiosity, though, because this has happened with what? Savannah Guthrie, um, even Megyn Kelly and him kind of got in a little heated exchange. So do you think other women, though? will still perceive him as waging a war against women? Even if, if you that, per se There don't. are going to be, certainly, there's, some women will, uh, especially those who identify as feminists. They're obviously going to take this as Rand Paul is waging this humongous war on women for his behavior in interviews. Um, but I would hope that his message, his overall message, is going to, um, you know, kind of suppress those, those concerns. Uh, a couple of minutes remain, Gabby, and I just have to ask you, because uh, you're a conservative, and uh, regardless of gender, a lot of conservatives think that network anchors uh, deserve some correction and some assertive um, uh, dialogue there. Can this actually read down to his benefit among likely uh, Republican presidential primary voters? Well, absolutely. If you have a journalist or an anchor asking a candidate a, a misguided question or a question that is factually incorrect, by all means, that candidate should speak up and correct the anchor so that information isn't being translated incorrectly to viewers and to the American public. Gabriella, if you were advising Ram Paul, what suggestions would you give him when it comes to working with the media? Well, I think that, again, he needs to uh, control his temper. I don't think that it's out of control necessarily, but uh, these, are, these appearances have hurt him a little bit among female voters, um, and they will continue to if this is a trend in his media appearances. So he needs to get that under control. Um, in addition to that, I think he needs to be out there, not necessarily preaching to the choir. Uh, I've seen him do a couple of interviews on CNN, uh, on MSNBC, and I think that's great for him to be out there uh, expanding his message to independent voters, to liberal voters, not just to the conservative uh, group of voters that are already you know, likely to vote for him or another GOP candidate. And of course, uh, Gabby, we should point out that uh, Senator Paul and others who aspire for the presidency have a standing invitation to join us here at uh, Newsmax TV. Gabby, as always, we thank you for your time. Next time we get together, we got to get that story of Michigan and the American Sniper movie and the efforts of the head football coach to really move and change things there in Ann Arbor. For now, though, time has caught up with us. And Gabby, you very much have our thanks for being here with us this morning. Thanks so much. Thank you for having me. You bet. Well, there is lots more to come as we uh, continue to cover the stories making news this Friday morning here on America's Forum. Please stay with us.